Hello guys and welcome back for another casting and this time I'm gonna do a, a third speed up casting because like I said I had to redo all the casts of the four last matches uh, for a match from uh, from the tournée from the group stage so yeah I'm gonna just do a really quick uh, play fast in the early and I know what's gonna happen in the game so I'm just gonna play fast pretty much everything I mean uh, um, a good part of the game because yeah as you can see it's I'm just gonna explain slowly it's on um, land unknown we got uh, really like really bad ant map and all the ant is here but super far I mean um, Shelty already <coughs> stole two rhinoceros with priest and just killing them to gather the food he also had way more goats than uh, Sun Tzu and they did both get 2TC boom here pretty much so the game plan of Sun here is just to go for uh, for Eric and then uh, Ragnarok can see Shelty is really going really really aggressive here with really forward Migdol they both have all the first line of upgrades <coughs> and you can see Sensu is about to age really soon doesn't have much farms but he, do, he can still trade with a lot of uh, gold income with this dwarf. So yeah, it's all about this play from uh, from Sensu. You can all see, also see that Shelty is going really aggressive, trying to take down the the, the main TC of Sensu, but Sensu was pretty smart and did his part here but even with the frost I think it was safe anyway but the thing is Shelty is not really paying attention that uh, Sun Tzu is, make, is making literally no army at all which should literally tell him that um, Sun Tzu is going for Ragnarok you can see a really nice uh, 11 and 30 seconds uh, age up uh, Ragnarok. He did get instant uh, Ragnarok. He did use instant Ragnarok. Got first fire here. Cast just to scare um, Shelty army. So yeah, you can see that Sun Tzu is denying that. That TC. At this point, Sun Tzu is, uh, is just quitting the back of Shelty base in case there is a gold mine. But otherwise, you know where all the gold mines are in the game, I mean on the map. So yeah, and he also has uh, four caravans, which is gonna help him quite a lot. He should probably get a uh, coinage right now. I mean, he should always get coinage I guess when you just right after um, right after casting Ragnarok because you're gonna not you're not gonna produce anything or you won't need the the gold right after casting the Ragnarok so and even more it's gonna be a really good upgrade for later on <coughs> but yeah since we decide to go for that TC which is, in my opinion, a bit ready. But I think 2TC is quite enough to just reproduce uh, all your economy, even more with a market going on. <coughs> but yeah, you can see Sun Tzu is trying to trap this, uh, this Axeman from Shelty, but the problem here is Sun Tzu literally didn't pay attention to this, and, uh, this gold and wood. Shifting sense have been used to save uh, 
Shelty Axeman here <coughs> and try to trap some uh, some Ragnarok heroes. But you can see Shelty is fine now having Migdol in base. He doesn't have much gold in base, but he's still mining on nine villagers here with shaft mine. Now it's all about defending that. Also, since who had this armor upgrade, <coughs> and yeah, those villagers are just meant to go for the wood, but should probably misclick. Yeah, you can see TC is holding quite quite well, <coughs> and uh, Sansu is just slowly losing all his Ragnarok heroes. You can see that Sansu doesn't have much uh, Rhino heroes anymore, so. And the thing is, uh, Shelty did switch his wood villager to the gold here. She's gonna let him make a lot of priests. Yeah, all those uh, Rhino heroes are low hit points. Easy target for for Shelty TC to just snipe them, and Shelty just has to add a few priests to clean that. Yeah, Shelty is not really paying enough attention to his TC. Now he does focusing uh, focusing heroes of Ragnarok, and you can see that Sansu did cast the Darwin Goldmine gold mine to get. Uh, Nice gold income, but it should really spam more long hours right now and prepare. Probably should get also um, irrigation and stuff like that to get better food income for produce more more caravans. But yeah, he really needs an army because once those fire giant are done. TC will fall, but yeah, once this version dies, Shelty can literally just go aggressive and push back Sansu. And yeah, you can see that Shelty wasn't paying attention with his army. So yeah, this villager did. Lot of damage. This is about to fall, but not gonna be enough. Shelty is still. Shelty is finally going for funeral and also quarry, and also sneaking that TC now. Right, right on the spot here, focusing this fire giant. You can see Sansu is mickering a bit. And yeah, Sansu has to snipe uh, those priests to let the fire giant do their max damage pretty much. Plenty of gold lost here for uh, for Shelty, but you can see he's still fine because he's entirely max population. Just doesn't have much uh, much priest, so it's gonna take time to take take down that. Except that at this moment, Sansu is entirely out of position with his army. And yeah, Sansu is going for that TC right after destroying the barracks. And it's at this moment that 
I think the game turned quite hard because you can see that this army is literally all Sensu army is going for fight on center and heavy cavalry but this this is the end for for Sensu pretty much at this point but also Horus and Fort Phaeton Center from Chelsea but you can see he had 16 caravans so also forcing a dwarf to attack the Migdol here Dwarf dead and a lot of caravans dead because he has and yeah this one will die also uh, not this one yeah this one so yeah you can see he lost 12 caravans and it's literally something you can't really you can't really lose at this point because it's, you really need your market and you need your economy but since he was quite I think it was a bit too slow and of course the major mistake was not check the gold mine. But yeah, that was a main mistake from uh, from Sensu here after the Ragnarok. And you can see there, w there was a reading cavalry here harassing that gold but Shachi literally forgot his <laughs> villager. Now he's paying attention, but he's gonna lose a few of them. But the thing is, you can see that Sansu did go for that red, but he's, he's not even able to, put, to, to defend on his base. Fergent will just die so fast with his priest. And the animals mixed with the chariots. Gonna deal with the heavy raiders right now. Shelty is just pushing nicely. Even though uh, Bron Bronze Shield is research for uh, for Sensu, Sensu doesn't have enough army to just kill all of that. And yeah, it's it's slaughter time now. See, Fergent is doing some nice damage too, but. All those dwarf are about to die. You can see medium um, heavy spearman for Shelty. And yeah, Shelty is literally just farming army right on that gold. You can see a huge amount of villager lost for Sensu. I mean, Shelty has double of Sensu uh, Viager. And now he's just pushing. Not much to do when you see that there is Champions, Chariots, Food Control, Cooper Shield coming for Shelty. So, yes, it's no more time. And every fire giant which you get out of the. Temper get entirely wrecked so fast. This the priest. And yeah, that's just a push. Big push from Shelty. And this is the end of the first game. So yeah, major mistake was probably to not check the girl mine for, for Sun Tzu. And I, sh I think Shelty was just trying to, to win with his first push, but I don't know why he just realized that Ragnarok was here only when uh, since we reached uh, Bard, so yeah. 
and this second game we have set against Loki on Tundra, so a matchup which will always favor set in whatever random map, whatever maps I mean, actually you get, because whatever set does like full classical fight or full uh, or just two TC boom into. Uh, into Eric or into a classical army, it's just something that usually set is really strong at, so yeah. You can see Shelty did, val uh, did vision here, right on the Sensu base. I think it was just to scare Sensu, so it gives enough time for Shelty to get the TC for free. You can see those two Yena are gonna be important. They're gonna be important. You can see eight goats. Remember that eight goats. And the thing is, it's I mean it's literally really smart uh, play from uh, from Shelty because. Because literally seven goats got le got stolen here, and what does it mean at this point for Shelty? It means that Sunsu has only one goat left, which is not that big. But that also means that Loki will be forced to go for uh, for his hunt out of his base. As set, you have pretty much all the maps could. Uh, I think it's pretty much around. Uh, you can do it around four minutes or even five minutes, let's say. So Shelty literally knows where all the hunt of Sunsu is, and he knows this caribou is hunted. He just failed a bit here, not cutting the the pack here, but. What you do here, it's just like Shelty is doing. You know, you know your opponent has to hunt out of his base. Otherwise, he will have to do his transition with some uh, some farms, and that is gonna be just awful for for him. So big win for you as set. So what you do is literally you do full army, and you force this fight. You force this fight, and you force your opponent to use all the food. The thing is, if Loki doesn't have food, into you. he will never get uh, either. Uh, he will never get a really good army or a good Eric. It's one of them. Because right now, uh, Loki can usually get uh, Eric without struggling that much with the gold. You can see he had the gold. He has he has the resource for Eric and still has almost 100 gold. So literally, the food is the most important thing to eat from for Shelty here. And you can see that uh, Sunsu is trying to do some pickup. This is Ersia, but he lost one Ersia against one uh, one Axeman. Two Ersia for one Axeman. Two Ersia and one Troll. So huge, really huge for Shelty. Shelty is on his way also for Eric. So yeah, it's good pressure. The only thing is that was kind of a mistake, but I, I think uh, he's lucky because uh, Sansu literally. I mean, he's unlucky because Sansu literally did pay attention. That since he lost the fight here, there was a priority that uh, Shetty would have gone here. But yeah, really nice map control. You can see Shetty has his army here and here to be sure that Sansu is not hunting. Sansu did get uh, did get Eric, but now he has he has to go on out of his base and literally has. No food income, which is really huge, also. And uh, um, 
I thought Chelsea was going Eric a bit earlier, but no, never mind. Just gonna do a small mistake here by being caught. So he's gonna lose some free units. But still, you can see he has 26 more villagers than Sensu right now. So it's pretty big. And yeah, he's gonna lose the uh, Pharaoh's priest, the uh, Pharaoh's um, few X-Men and the one jet here on the top. But Shelty is finally going Eric. And a yeah, nice pick here. King. Three Axemen and one Yena. Four Axemen actually. And the spy is right here on the gold. Got pickaxe for Shelty. Got a boundary which was really needed because Shelty had fucking ton of goats. And you can see Shelty also has a really nice backhand here. It's gonna be really good for him. And Sensu did go for some hunt here, but it's literally five villager only on the hunt. It's not that good because uh, Sensu is literally making battle balls and train x one right now, which could be really really bad against chariots. But Shelty is not going for chariots at all. He stayed. On the classical army and is even making slinger right now. <coughs> Adding one more barracks. I think he's gonna add one more here. If I remember correctly. But yeah, now it's a possible time for Sun Tzu to do flaming punch. But I think it's he is pretty. It's not really uh, safe about his, uh, his flaming weapons right now. The problem here is uh, there is funeral rites on the pharaoh and priest. So as soon as Shelty kills those three S here, here uh, Sensu will just have three battle balls remaining in that fight and if Sh if Sun Tzu lose the battle boss and the earth here all the tracks man will just get, literally get wrecked for so easily by by set right now even more since there is there will be some uh, slinger in the back so yeah it's I think it's literally uh, it's not a, a good enough um, Army composition for Sh for Sun Tzu right now, so I guess it I guess he knows that, so he doesn't wanna really go too much in with his flaming points. And you can see Shanti did get Horus. He's, he was full pop for a long time, so he did get his economy for a mythic egg, mythical age. He got. Uh, heavy infantry from Sun Tzu you can see some slinger trying to snipe some Trax man and yeah we got a fight right now we got the flaming weapons which has been cast quite early in my opinion but yeah you can see that there is only uh, only if uh, Trey X Men and Trey X Men will just struggle so hard against Ancestor. Got some battle balls red, but once again, you can see that Sun Tzu is literally not aware about the gold mine here. He also lost the, his main TC, which where he was researching. I think it was L. Yeah, he's gonna get this TC and research L in that TC. Shall T spot that gold? So 
yeah. Champion Slinger now for Shelty is entirely going all classical units. Uh, problem here is Sansu has literally no army left. You can see he has he lost also his temple and he has literally two long hours to produce his army. And all the slingers are just literally right on the army while the priests are safe in the back here. Just as focus as here. And also, champions Axeman on the way, even though he's not even producing any of them, it seems like. Yeah, he's literally making full slinger. Yeah, Avenger will die. Shelty will get his 3rd TC now. And yeah, huge red incoming, but you can see uh, Sensu has no pop anymore. He has no pop anymore, and he's gonna lose few dwarf here. And he realizes that it's over, he has nothing left. And we got a GG here from Sensu. Yeah, you can see that Shelty was literally just winning by just making full slinger. In this game, Shelty was on 3TC and was finally making Shadow because I think he was struggling quite hard with the, with the food. At least he was really close to get all his villagers. But yeah, he was struggling with the food, so I guess that's why he get literally full slinger. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Really nice play from Shelty. And from boss actually, but I think uh, Set will always win lucky in top level anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you did enjoy this uh, speed up casting, and I will have just one remaining game to do. Uh, it's gonna be Mariano against player, and it's gonna be literally the last game of the group. And uh, and yeah, then I'm gonna do a video to explain all the champions relegation. And uh, the challenger promo promotion works, and yeah, that's all. So, hope you enjoy, and I see you next time, guys.